So now we're on our uh, Philippine China focus segment. Uh, and of course, uh, the very significant uh, focus this week is the vi visit of President uh, uh, Vice Premier Wang Yang uh, to uh, Davao. He's attending the uh, ASEAN China Tourism Cooperation event, uh, as well as a meeting with our economic managers. Uh, um, uh, now, uh, this discussion on the Philippine China focus will cover the different aspects of the projects that China will be uh, financing in the Philippines. Uh, and um, I think of particular interest to many of our uh, audience uh, is uh, are, are the projects that will affect you and me, our traffic in Manila, for example, our water supply for the next decades to come, uh, our uh, transportation system to uh, the south, uh, train system, and uh, interconnections among the islands in uh, the Visayas. We'll be discussing this uh, in the course of this next 30 minutes. Uh, and then um, we'll touch on the issue of uh, the Benham. Uh, our friend Ado Paglinawan, uh, through Facebook, sent us his analysis, and he called it first the Benham Ruse, R-U-S-E, not R-I-S-E. Uh, that uh, there was a ruse going on for a week, and, and it's good, it's been clarified. Now we're back to discussing the Benham Rice. So we'll uh, show you the, um, we will show you the provisions of the UNCLOS on territorial seas, and make it once and for all clear to everyone what territory means and what exclusive economic zone means. That is why we will get the assistance of our uh, uh, professor here to help clarify these issues and many other issues such as, for example, who owns the fish in an economic, uh, exclusive economic zone? Is it the one who holds the e exclusive economic uh, right? Well, uh, we will go back yeah, to that. Yeah. So, so we, uh, what about the oil underneath? Is it owned by the one who owns that uh, EEZ? Uh, yeah. uh, he, uh, our professor is shaking his head, so we'll understand why. So um, let's go to the uh, investments of uh, China uh, in the next uh, years. And immediately, of course, uh, these are not just investments, but the first uh, item on the agenda of uh, Vice Premier Wang Yan is uh, a purchase agreement for $1.7 billion of Philippine fruits and other foodstuffs, including fish uh, products. Uh, if you uh, have farmland, you better prepare it already for coffee, cacao, dragon fruit, uh, ano pa bang mga prutas. Uh, alam po ninyo, yung 1.7 billion uh, US dollars na bibili ng China sa loob ng isang taon in just one year. That is around 100 billion pesos. May mga lupa nyo, ano, ihanda na ninyo, magtanim na tayo. Isang daang bilyon pisong halagang mga prutas na bibilihin sa loob nitong taon na to. Ready ba tayo? Are we ready to supply this? Uh, I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> you know, two weeks ago, our guest here was uh, Alfonso de Dios. He's a Filipino um, entrepreneur who worked with uh, Procter & Gamble in Beijing for 16 years. Now he's back home here, he's a trader. And he, uh, I invited him because he caught my attention on Facebook uh, when he said he was looking for uh, 500,000 tons, tonelada, or 500,000, 500 million kilos. Tama ba? May, is my arithmetic correct? It's so kilos, staggering. Five, huh? five tons. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, fi 500,000 tons is 500 million kilos. Yes, yes. Of uh, pineapple cubes, what the on earth will it be for? He said, "It's very simple. Every month, huh? It's for fried rice. Mm. Because hinalo <laughs> anila yung ano? Ilang? If you have 1.4 billion eating fried rice every day, I, 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 it's not a surprising amount, you know. So the other, the press, uh, Vice Premier Wang Yan will be bringing this purchase order to the Philippines." And of course, earlier we mentioned uh, uh, so also yung uh, tourism will surge, you know, 250,000 
uh, increase in visa application. 250%. 250%. Ano sabi ko? 250,000. <laughs> 250%. Now, let's go to the infrastructure. Uh, I already mentioned uh, the, the two bridges uh, across uh, Intramuros to uh, across the Pasig to Binondo and the other from uh, BGC uh, crossing to Pasig uh, and on to Ortigas. Uh, NEDA has another, uh, well, of course, I don't know if we can show this uh, map of the uh, BGC to Ortigas, uh, but that, that's a news item there, you know. And so the other uh, government uh, projects uh, for 13 more bridges across the Pasig. Ang unang pinag the first ones are only these two, but the others will be coming. And that is why it's so important to preserve our uh, budding relationship with China. And that is why it is important for other elements to try to disrupt this. You know. Uh, NEDA has also approved so many other projects. Uh, let's look at this, some of these, and some of these have already been approved by China in uh, coordination with our economic managers. Number one, the inclusive partnership for agricultural uh, competitiveness. Um, there are other hospital projects. The other one that's significant here is item four, Metro Manila flood management project, uh, uh, phase one. Of course, it's been announced also that China will be financing and uh, helping in the uh, setting up of the Metro Manila bus rapid transit system. And um, well, there are the, the dams, water uh, and hydroelectric dams, uh, Chico Dam, uh, no? the Kaliwa River uh, uh, water source uh, project, the maritime safety capability improvement project for the Philippine Coast Guard. We uh, interviewed uh, uh, Commodore Joel, uh, jo Joel, Joel Garcia, whom you referred to us. That's why we were able to interview him. And uh, people can go back to our uh, YouTube upload of the discussion we had with uh, Commodore Garcia. Okay, so on these economic projects, uh, what are your reactions? Uh, well... This is overwhelming. It's just at the moment the papers are signed, we have to thresh out the details because sometimes this economics uh, uh, commitment or investment could be motherhood statement. As they say, the devil hides in the details, so we have to thresh it out very well to our advantage. Well, uh, I made a listing of all these projects, and uh, uh, what you're mentioning about the details has uh, been included in the uh, six-year development uh, for program for economic uh, and trade cooperation. This is, uh, in short, the SYDP. Uh, so Vice uh, Premier Wang Yan um, will uh, also be uh, signing this. Uh, so this is systematic uh, organizing of the uh, various agreements and uh, conditionalities uh, and so on. Oh, by the way, Wang Yan is also bringing a $1 million donation to the uh, Suriga earthquake victims. So uh, these are the um, part of the boon from our relationship with uh, cooperation with China, these uh, infrastructure. Now uh, let's go to the um, uh, event that uh, intervened recently. <laughs> there was a, it was a comedy of errors on the Philippine side because some of the cabinet members apparently were unsure why they make these mistakes, making statements out of touch with uh, what President uh, Duterte's fundamental policy direction is, uh, which is positive relations with all nations, particularly China. Uh, and uh, so that uh, really raises this question, like Lorenzana uh, saying that he doubts China's claim of innocent passage in Benham Rice. Uh, Defense Secretary Lorenzana is very much aware, and he was part of the visit to China as a member of the cabinet. Why does he make statements that seem to uh, deliberately contradict the spirit and the uh, words uh, uh, and actions, in fact, of his president? Well, f f uh, several things. First of all, in the past few days, I'm really surprised. There are so many, t uh, there are so many news releases interview of so-called experts 
And most of the headlines and even what these experts were saying that Benham Rice is our territory. They have abused the word territory. Benham Rice is not our territory. As an archipelago, our territory where we have sovereignty only applies to land, the archipelagic waters, those are the waters in, uh, between, in islands. between islands. And if the island is facing uh, open ocean, that is only 12 nautical miles from the base. Mm -hmm. so that is our territory, uh, territorial uh, seas, no? which mm -hmm. is uh, 12 nautical miles. Beyond that, it's, 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 uh, uh, it's either uh, international water or exclusive economic zone. Now, let me go into this exclusive economic zone. Actually, exclusive is a mis misnomer there because, strictly speaking, it's not really exclusive. No? First of all, because of the doctrine that the sea is the common heritage of mankind. Uh, like, for example, in the case of West Philippine Sea, the Hague Tribunal uh, declared that it is a traditional fishing ground. Hence, the Chinese, the Vietnamese, the Thai, Malay, can fish there. Malaysians, you know. Yeah, Malaysia, and even those, uh, those landlocked nations, because it's a provision of uh, own clause. I'm, I'm just amazed with how this uh, word territory has been abused by media. Now, they keep on bannering that this is our territory. No. Uh, next, um, we don't have the details whether the Chinese really were doing surveys there or were just passing by because if they were just passing by, they are protected by the law of innocent passage. Every day, hundreds of uh, international vessels pass through our territorial, and, territorial uh, waters. And I think the most number that yeah. passes through it are the U.S., the, yeah. uh, the British. They, they uh, enter Balabac in Palawan and they exit Surigao. That, that happens every day. Uh, you remember uh, when one of their ships uh, <coughs> got uh, yeah. grounded at the Tubata, Tubata. Reef? Yeah. That is internal waters. Yeah. And, and, and um, why, why are we what are we complaining about? No? Every day, the Americans, no, especially their judetics, USGS, uh, judetic survey using US Navy submarines, are mapping our seedbed. No, the Americans are there in Benham Rice. The, the, the Japanese also make a survey there. Even New Zealand make a survey there. I, I remember when our scientists were mapping that area, they even have to get data from New Zealand because New Zealand had been mapping that. So why make a fuss of China in particular, in particular no, in being particular, there? Yeah. Well, you see, all these uh, questions lead to misleading newspaper and media headlines and uh, uh, reports such as this. Uh, this is from which paper? Uh, well, anyway, we don't need to identify them, but yeah, well, in interaction, from interaction. Uh, watch, China ships in Philippine own Benham Rice, so there is an inaccuracy oh, there already. Yeah. Scouting for, maybe they should have said, China ships in Philippine EEZ, then that would be accurate, you know? Uh, scouting for subs parking. How did they know? That they were scouting for exactly, sub that's what submarines. I, that's what I yeah. said. We lack the details what oh. were they doing there, really. Oh. What Lorenzana did was a mere conjecture, unless he had more information. Well, uh, I discussed uh, this question with uh, Ambassador Ngupienda. He, he retraced the news item because that's what he does yeah. every day. And he says, no, it started in Roy Logoles. Yeah. And uh, Lorenzana mentioned that uh, his source also was Roy Logoles. And Goles, as we know, is uh, very anti China. I just saw this video of uh, Roy Lugoles, and I cannot believe that this guy was former national security advisor because he said, we own Benham Rice because it is our continental shelf. Yeah. You know, a continental shelf can go for very, very long, 80 miles and so on. And up to three, 200 yes, miles, 300 miles. But your, your, your territorial seas is only up to 12, 12 miles. nautical miles. 12 nautical miles. We will no? show the uh, yeah. uh, graph later on. It may, the, the, the continental shelf may extend for 80 miles, but your territorial sea is only up to 12 nautical miles. Beyond that is already your EEZ. Yeah. So another headline, uh, and this is from China, which was misunderstood here in the Philippines. Mm. What did uh, the foreign ministry of China say? Philippines can't claim Benham rice. As, as, a a, as a territory, which is correct, which is the, they later clarified, and we will show the headline. Yeah. That China uh, announced that it respects our uh, economic uh, rights, mm. uh, uh, but we'll go into that later on. So this has created a lot of misunderstanding, especially Lorenzana's statements, yeah. which contradict the spirit. Number one, 
Number two, the uh, policy pronouncement. And number three, the actual actions of the President of the Republic, which he's supposed to be serving. There, there are criticism against President Duterte that why did he do it on his own, not informing uh, his Secretary of National Defense or Secretary of Foreign Affairs. Well, my goodness, this is the President. He's the one who makes foreign policy. You know, he does not have to, like for example, when, Trillian, when uh, President Aquino ap approved the back channeling of uh, uh, Senator Trillanis to China, did he inform the National Defense or Fari uh, Department of Foreign Affairs? Yeah, no? yeah that's uh, right. More so, um, of course, no, uh, it, it, even that invitation had to go through a process. There, ha there, ha there ha has to be paper, papers have to be signed. But I'm no, I'm no stranger to bilateral discussion or visit abroad of presidents, you know. Maybe it happened that, let's say, for example, your President Xi Jinping, I'm President Duterte, we're talking, I'm, I'm inviting you. Then his staff or his cabinet must be very, very quick to pick mm. up from that discussion and do their homework and formulate the policy papers for, for, for signing. Well, yeah. and, and, and talking about the jo uh, joint exploration, let us look at Vietnam, uh, Cambodia, e even, even Taiwan, where there is an official dispute. In Vietnam, for example, 90% of the hydrocarbon exploration are joint exploration with China. Hydrocarbon meaning oil in simple terms. No? Yes, uh, rough yeah. oil. No? Yeah. And, uh, and this joint Cambodia, exploration they, they yes, yes, this, yeah. uh, really have benefited their country. Mm. So, in fact, it's a patriotic act on the part of President Duterte to invite uh, countries with capital and technology to uh, launch joint exploration with us. Well, I can um, speculate because this has not come out in, in any analysis. The foreign policy key man of President Duterte is uh, Yasai, yes. former Foreign Secretary Yasai. And uh, if uh, Yasai was there <coughs> beside the President yeah. discussing with Xi Jinping, did he, did he formalize it as a part of the discussion? Well, he, he, eventually, if he did that, he, I'm sorry to say, he was yeah. slow. But yeah. Because that's your job. Yeah, but also eventually we saw what happened to Yasai. <laughs> and uh, the mm. questions that are raised, uh, whether he was really serving with faithfulness, mm. uh, these uh, duties to the president as the key foreign policy man of, of uh, the republic and of the cabinet. Uh, so, again, is it to, this one of the case of uh, sabotage by some elements? Uh, we cannot th pass th judgment. Th th that's very difficult to prove. Yeah, no, but what we I can say, there seems uh, to be a systematic, because of the abuse of the mm, word territory, mm. li li like for example, uh, there are so many conjectures, like there was only a Chinese service ship there, and everybody were jumping into the conclusion that President Duterte is giving our patrimony mm. away. Yes. Well, they keep using this term, yeah. which is, of course, very uh, unjust and yeah. uh, inaccurate, uh, grossly inaccurate. Uh, as you mentioned, Vietnam has arrangements with oh, China. Yes. Cambodia has arranged. Is that unpatriotic? Uh, it has helped them develop Help them a their lot. resources. Yeah. The other matter, of course, is we, everybody in the Philippines knows the Americans have been yeah. using our waters yes. for whatever they Without have, our permission. Without permission. Without our invitation. Yes. Um, but maybe it's time that we tap the other countries, such yes. as China, to do the same thing so we can compare notes. What do the Americans submit to our uh, government? And then let's see who is hiding what. You and know? when it comes to joint uh, exploration and joint venture, let's see who gives the better deal. That's right. Like yeah. I mean, just look at Malampaya. Yeah. I mean, we're really on the. We're, we're supposed to get uh, ten percent, but actually uh, maybe just five percent. No, it's supposed to be sixty percent. Uh, and from uh, it should have, according to our constitution, constitution should yes. be that way. Uh. Yeah. So. And I, I because because you know Vietnam rice is very very rich in resources. You know. Yeah. Methane hydrate, yeah, yeah. and those the scientists who went there found new species of coral, yeah. and there might be a huge deposit of hydrocarbons mm -hmm. there. But talking about these hydrocarbons, because this is what many, like Goles, no, like uh, Hidarian, are, are saying that mm -hmm. it is ours. Rosalind yeah. Higgins, the first uh, president of the International Court of Justice, has already declared that nobody owns that hydrocarbon. It's like the fishes. When you catch a tuna there, you will not find anything made in the Philippines. Mm. They're moving. Mm. Same with hydrocarbon, they're mobile. Mm. No? You only own that the moment you, you, suck, ex you, you extract, you it. extract it, the moment it is in your rig, that's the, when the law of capture so applies. Uh, when you're it's already in your pipe, sir Rigmo, that's yours already. That's yours yeah, already. That's the yours. law of capture applies. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, we still don't have a, a law of capture. No, a good model in to other words, you have to do some legislative work. The work of PNOC. Mm. No? 
There's a good model for that, the North Sea, between uh, England and uh, Norway. Norway, Sweden, mm. you know. Yeah. Okay. And the fish, of course. Many people uh, don't understand this. The fish cannot be declared yours you, yeah. until you catch it. Yes, yes. Because the fish has no mark, trademark made yes. in the Philippines. Yes. And it uh, traverses the oceans, uh. and it can be in the Philippines one uh, hour, in uh, the Sea of Japan the next hour, and so on. Uh. Yes. Actually, you know, I, I, I know I have first-hand information that a lot of inter uh, Ch Chinese, Taiwanese, even Malaysian are fishing there in Benham Rice. Yes, I, I would yeah. not be surprised. Uh. Yeah. Um, so, again, uh, we'll take a look at the official uh, uh, terms in the UNCLOS in a while. I'm just uh, going to make sure that we have... Uh, so, anyway, after this has been clarified by President Duterte, who says, for example, in this news item, concern over Chinese ships in Benham Rise exaggerated. It I is, heard it him, is. Yeah, I heard him say it exactly uh, during his press conference. And there are people exaggerating it, like it Roy Logoles uh, no? yeah. uh, and others. Uh, As I said, the Japanese are there uh, mm. doing survey. The New Zealand Navy mm. is there doing survey. And then finally, uh, President Duterte also said in that press conference, Chinese ships allowed to survey Philippine territory. Mm. Now, a lot of people may misunderstand that, but uh, again, we just uh, explained it. The Americans, the Japanese, the British, everybody's surveying yeah. uh, without asking for, for permission. permission yeah. Uh, why zero in on Chi the Chinese? What is the advantage for us if the Chinese are surveying? We call their attention, we ask for their survey results, and they let's also ask it from the other countries so we get a wealth of knowledge. Not only that, if it comes to the point where uh, we have to launch a joint venture, mm. let's see who gives the better deal. Yeah, and at the same time also, uh, who are the countries that have the technology yes. for such, uh, not yeah. even uh, many European countries may not have it. The French have good submersibles, yes. uh, but China has just broken the record in deep sea submersibles. Uh, I think we have an item there reporting that, but let me see if I am uh, following the sequence I prepared. Anyway, before we go to that, uh, China has finally announced again, just to clarify everything, that uh, China, we respect Philippines' rights, rights over Benham Rise. Okay? So that should settle it. But uh, again, uh, on these uh, disruptions of our policy direction, uh, the experience with Yasai is, a pro is one ex example. In February, the Chinese Commerce Minister abruptly postponed his uh, trip to the Philippines. Why? In the, during the uh, ASEAN uh, summit, uh, of which now the Philippines is chair this year, in 2017, Yasai came out and uh, spoke to the press about uh, some countries. Uh, we reported it, and uh, we also analyzed and criticized it here in this uh, segment uh, in our previous episode, where Yasai said, two or three or four countries in ASEAN uh, expressing the need to bring up the arbitration issue. If you are a foreign secretary of a country and you're chair of that uh, conference, can you be so uncertain about the facts, like saying two or three or four? So that reflected a, you know, a disturbing uh, uncertainty in the mind, maybe because of prevarications intended. You know, I really doubt it because uh, ASEAN countries do not want to antagonize China mm -hmm. because they're profiting so much from the boom of China. I think Yasai was just making that up, but I, it's still, it's inappropriate for but, him But to that the danger to the Philippines is yes. that, that that could have disrupted the $25 billion yes. uh, investments, assistance, and projects that we have been working on and President Duterte has sacrificed yeah. so much no, yeah. to uh, accomplish. Oh, and then, um, so uh, that, that was settled finally, and uh, Commerce Minister Chong San finally came in February, and then now uh, Vice Premier Wang Yang. Uh, now, let's look at the UNCLOS itself. Uh, UNCLOS, uh, and we're running out of time, we have so much more to discuss. Can we show that uh, in uh, line three? Uh, you know, no, the. It might be too small for our audience to see, but it states here, breadth of the territorial sea. This is our territory, the extent of our territory. Every state has the right to establish the breadth of its territorial sea up to a limit not exceeding 12 nautical miles measured from baselines 
determined in accordance with this convention. Now, the baselines are the low tide level uh, of the sea, uh, and uh, you plot it from the low tide level, uh, the land base. Uh, so that is very clear. Uh, we have uh, now we can uh, flash our diagram or chart of the of the um, contours of the uh, what uh, continental crust means. Uh, continental me. continental shelf. Are we ready with that? Uh, it's very important. I, for I just the, want yeah, to ahead. take yeah. note uh, the, the, the word land. Yeah, there it is. It has huh? to be yeah. land. It has to be because land. there are many claims that were declared as rock. As mm. rock, mm. it cannot support human life. Hence, it cannot generate the 12 nautical That's miles right. territorial yeah. seas. So, yeah, you can see it uh, there. Uh, I, if you can go closer to your screens, you will see a very, very st thin strip, ju a strip just uh, below the green line, which is the land line, is the 12 nautical miles. Uh, territorial sea limit. You can see it. Territorial sea limit. And the rest is the shelf where you can uh, claim exclusive Very economic. Easy. Within uh, 200 right. nautical miles. Within 200 nautical miles. Then there's the but continental it, drop. Befo before that, you just cannot claim it. There are processes there to are be processes, followed, like yeah. you have to make a survey. That's why the Philippines did very well. Uh, we can yes. we commend our maritime people. Uh, That's why I can say the Benham Rises are only bona fide EEZ mm -hmm. because it was, it's a, a 12 year in the making. And the survey alone took more than four years. Our other EEZ, we did not make a survey. Okay, so now let's take a picture of... Um, the meth methane hydrate in Benham Rice, well, this is uh, condensed uh, uh, methane. methane. Alam namang methane, no? These are produced by organic materials rotting, and there's gas there. But this one is uh, frozen uh, and solid, so it can be extracted to produce uh, energy. And um, uh, is there uh, any advantage if uh, we work with China? Well, uh, it's... Uh, uh, well, we to me, whether China, the British, the Americans, to me it's always who gives the best deal to right, the country. That's yeah. right, yeah. But we must know well, what countries his, have the history, technology. The track, and the track record. And the track record, uh, yeah. I, I mean, look at the track record of our cooperation with the United States. In Malampaya. Oh, in, in, yeah. Yeah. That's Malampaya true. is also British, Caltex. Uh, uh, I mean Shell. Shell, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, China breaks deep sea diving uh, record. Uh, China has been on a... Um, on a campaign to develop its uh, submarine capabilities, you know? and uh, I, I'm, I don't know. There, there, there China breaks deep sea diving record with their new submersible, the Jiao Long. Uh, okay, I think you have a photo of the uh, Jiao Long. Okay. Now uh, Japan also has uh, finally, uh, I think, two years ago succeeded in extracting methane hydrate from their own seas. No? We have one or two minutes left, uh, so I'll rush through this. And uh, so uh, the technology is proven, and this is something we can, the Philippines can look forward to. But there is the continuing uh, competition and rivalry of China and the U.S. in uh, the submarine uh, terrain. Uh, no? uh, we have uh, an example of that in the China Sea. We have not discussed their competition for the uh, Western Pacific, which is coming. And uh, we'll have more news about this in the coming months and years, I'm sure. Well, we have uh, come to the end of our uh, Philippine-China focus, your, fun, your basic message, uh, personally, conclusion uh, message. Personally, I'm very excited. Mm. A lot of good things are happening, and it's unfortunate that there are elements who want to sabotage it all. So as Filipinos, we should think very well no? before, before making any conclusion, and we should think critically before believing all these propagandas. Okay. Well, again, welcome to the Philippines, Vice Premier uh, Wang Yan and President Duterte and our economic managers. Get the most out of this, uh, and uh, may we uh, see the economic renaissance of the Philippines, the uh, renewed emporium of Asia. Mabuhay.